Congratulations, you're on your way to a beautiful Kadar smile. I'm Sarah, and I'm here to help you understand how to eat the right types of food for those new braces. Initially, it's best to eat a soft diet. Foods like soups, mashed potatoes, mac and cheese, and jello. Cut up apples, cut corn off the cob, and meat off the bone. There are some types of foods that you need to avoid the whole time you have your braces on. Basically, any food that's hard, like pizza crust, nuts, hard candy, or ice cubes, or anything that's sticky or chewy, like gum, taffy, or candy. It's easy to remember. If it's hard, sticky, or sweet, it's bad for your teeth. Avoid drinking lots of soda or fruit juices due to the high sugar content. Stick with water as a drink to sip all day, every day. It's a good rule of thumb that if you can't break it or cut it up into smaller pieces, you shouldn't eat it. In addition to food, there are other things that can damage your teeth and braces. Avoid biting or chewing on foreign objects such as fingernails, pens, pencils, or mouth guards. You also need to avoid pushing on or playing with your braces or wires. This can break or distort them, which may extend your treatment time. It's also important to keep comfortable. For the first three days, it's okay to appropriately medicate with Advil, Tylenol, or Motrin. Milkshakes and smoothies give instant relief, and they taste good too. Blocks keep your bite open. We normally place four in your mouth. If one comes out, it's no problem. You only need one on each side. Wax is very important and helpful. It protects your mouth in areas that feel sensitive, and it's easy to use. Be sure to dry off the area of braces that irritates the mouth. Use a small pea-sized piece of wax and smush it on the bracket. This gives instant relief. Follow these tips to make your transition into braces easier. And remember, there's always somebody available to help you over the phone. And you can usually be seen the next business day for any problems. Congratulations, you're on your way to a beautiful Kadar smile. I'm Sarah, and I'm here to give you useful tips on how to care for your teeth and braces. It's easier than you think, but if you don't take the time to do things right every day, chances are pretty good you'll have some problems when it's time for your braces to come off. If you don't brush and floss your teeth, your gums will become unhealthy. Poor oral hygiene can cause you to have white spots or stains on your teeth, and they can ruin your smile forever not to mention really bad breath. The good news is, taking care of your teeth correctly is actually pretty easy. You just need to take the time to do it. We highly recommend an electric spin toothbrush or water pick to aid with hygiene. When brushing, focus on three things, brackets, teeth, and gums. Hold the brush at a 45 degree angle and brush in small circles to ensure all surfaces of all teeth, braces, and gum line are cleaned. Rotary brushes like Oral-B are excellent tools to increase efficiency. The Oral-B electric brush is lightweight, so you can hold it with a light fingertip grip. Hold it parallel to the floor against the side of your teeth. Guide the brush head slowly from tooth to tooth, following the natural curve of your teeth and gums. You don't have to press hard or scrub. Simply let the brush do all the work for you. Hold the brush in place on each tooth for a few seconds before moving on to the next tooth. Clean all of your teeth one by one and don't forget to reach all areas. The insides, outsides, the chewing surfaces, and even at the back of your mouth behind your back molars. Be sure to clean the brackets thoroughly by angling the brush head against them. Make sure the electric brush cleans between the brackets and your gums and under the orthodontic wires. Remember to replace your brush head every three months as the efficiency of the brush decreases with longer usage. To learn more, see the instructions that came with your Oral-B electric brush. Use a proxy brush, the Christmas tree brush. It will help you clean between the wires to ensure you've done it right. And of course, flossing is important. Most patients don't know there are two great tools to make flossing easier. The platypus, which is a one-handed flosser and can be used under the wire, and a floss threader, which threads. <laughs> After brushing and flossing, don't forget the fluoride. When you begin treatment, we provide you your first fluoride rinse in your starter kit. Each day, use a capful of the rinse by swishing it around in your mouth for a minute and then discard. You should not eat or drink for half an hour after using the rinse. 
Before bed is a great time to use the fluoride rinse. We have replacement rinse in the office, or you can purchase it at any local drugstore. As part of the Ortho Essentials program, your orthodontist will give you this Score Your Smile card, which you can put on a mirror or keep in a drawer. It shows the full spectrum of teeth, from poor to excellent, so you can match your own teeth to the chart to monitor your progress at home. If you fall into the poor or not so good category, you'll need to improve your oral health practices. Your orthodontist can help. At the start of your ortho program, you'll also get a take-home booklet with tips and tools to help you achieve excellent oral health throughout your ortho treatment. If you follow these instructions, your smile will look beautiful. All it takes is a little time and effort each day and your teeth will sparkle. To reward great smiles, we've created the Kadar Cash Club. Many things you do while you're a patient can earn you points. From being on time for your appointment, brushing correctly, no broken appliances, referring a friend, or even liking us on Facebook. You can use the points for great prizes, like gift cards to your favorite stores, iPads, or choose from many selections online. The Kadar Cash Club is a great way for you to earn prizes and have a healthier smile. To help ensure that your smile is as white as it is straight, make sure you follow these tips twice a day, every day, and brush every time you eat a meal. And remember, there's always somebody available to help you over the phone, and you can usually be seen the next business day for any problems. Sometimes when you have braces, you have little problems like loose brackets or something uncomfortably poking your mouth. Don't worry, it's kind of normal. If your bracket gets loose, first take note. If the bracket had a wire running through it, call to see if it needs to be reattached at this point in your treatment. If you have a loose bracket on a wire, simply dry the area and cover with wax. Then call to set up a rebonding appointment. At times, wires poke your mouth. The good news is, it can be a sign you're making progress, but it can also happen if you've lost a bracket or the wire got stuck on something sticky. So to avoid this, don't eat sticky candy, gum, or hard foods. You can use wax to cover the wire. Just make sure the area is dry and apply wax like this. You can also clip the wire closest to the next bracket if you can't get relief. The wire can be clipped between any teeth or behind the last tooth. Once clipped, the free end can be slid out or just removed. Then, if necessary, just cover the exposed wire with a little bit of wax. For a poking wire, be sure to follow all of the instructions and call the office the next business day to schedule your follow-up. If a wire is poking in the back, simply grasp the wire with a pair of needle nose pliers and slide the wire to the opposite side. Some wires are twisted around a few teeth or used with appliances. Sometimes, the tail of the wire gets twisted and bent or sticks out. If this happens, simply use an eraser on a pencil to apply pressure and tuck the tail around the bracket and away from the gum. If a wire or part of an appliance completely comes out, save all the pieces and contact the office the next business day. If your mouth is stuck open or locked shut, Gently maneuver the jaws side to side to free. If your lips or cheeks are irritated, use wax, salt water rinses, or other over-the-counter products like Paroxyl Rinse or Oral-Base. For some, teeth or face pain is a normal part of getting braces. It usually lasts just three to five days after beginning treatment and after each adjustment. Using medication as directed like Advil, Motrin, or Tylenol, along with salt water rinses works well. Most patients, both young and old, find a milkshake or smoothie with Advil is a winning combination. When the wires get cold, it gives you short-term relief, and the Advil helps you long-term. Another great tip is to eat a diet of soft food. For other ideas on brace-friendly foods, print out the Kadar food chart on our website. If you experience face or tooth trauma, apply ice and contact your family dentist or go immediately to the emergency room. If the braces or orthodontic appliances are involved, Call us once the injured area is stabilized and this can be repaired afterwards. 
Remember, there's always somebody available to help you over the phone, and you can usually be seen the next business day for any problems. Now you know how to care for your teeth and braces, what foods to eat, and what to do if you have a problem. Remember, our team is always available to help you with any questions. Be sure to bring your KDAR Cash Club Rewards card to each appointment so you can earn great prizes for your awesome smile.